Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Everyday Bonsai. This is a very large conifer. It's actually a New Zealand native Totara tree. Totaras have very short blade-like needles. When I purchased the tree it was about two meters tall and I chopped it at this point where you can see it. I trunk chopped it and will turn it into a deadwood feature. And the branch that you can see coming out right underneath the chop, that's what I'm going to use as the new apex of the tree. The tree really has some beautiful features. As you can see here, it's really showing um, its age in the bark. But one thing that I'm not really happy with, and that is the main reason for this video, is showing you what I'm doing with the branch structure. So the branches are not really what you want them to be. So as you can see here, the yeah, there's another beautiful feature is the, the base of the tree. It's probably about 12 centimeters across. And here I'm really starting to get into the, the training. So coming back to the branches, it's got some really good branch placement. I was able to reduce that quite a bit and leave really important branches in there for the design of the tree. But the branches are not really thicker at the base of the tree and getting thinner towards the top of the tree. And the reason that I'm chopping it back the way that I am is because I want to leave the bottom branches a lot longer so that they thicken up quicker and cut the top branches a lot shorter so again that they don't grow as fast and over time that's probably a kind of two to three year time frame the bottom branches will then really thicken up and that gives the tree really the appearance that I that I want. But all of this growing for years, so I guess the tree will be about 15 years old by now, is achieved by this massive growing bag, which is kind of the second best thing short of having it planted in the ground. So the bag is about, I would say about 30 liters and it is just filled with coconut choir. So that is a really good growing medium, I find, for those trees that are not in bonsai pots, but in development stage. And it's similar to peat moss. It doesn't provide much in terms of nutrients, but it gives it a really good growing base and a large volume to take up water, to take up nutrients from the fertilizer and so on. So this has nothing to do with the final styling of the tree, but you can really see it's taking shape in terms of developing those branches. If you like the content, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't so. I hope you got something out of it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.